Okay, today I'm going to illustrate the Chatelet's principle with some nice pretty colored solution. Here we have a copper complex. But first of all, Le Chatelet's principle, what is it? Well, uh, this says if a system is at equilibrium, and that's where you have this double arrow here, um, and it's subjected to some type of stress or change, perturbation, whatever you want to call it as, and alters the equilibrium, the system readjusts itself to offset the stress. So what happens is, especially if we're talking about changing reactants or products, the equilibrium is going to shift. If you add too much of something on one side, it will shift to the other side. So we're going to go through a little bit of this here. Um, we have copper sulfate pentahydrate. Um, this is a um, very small amount. It's a 5 grams in a 250 milliliter volumetric flask. That's what originally was um, here. And uh, we see that we have a, a blue colored solution. It's a very pretty blue color. And then um, we're going to add some KBR. And what we'll end up getting is a green uh, complex, a potassium uh, copper complex. And then there's two other products. We get potassium sulfate and water. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this up here just as a comparison so you can see how it changes. So I'm going to add some potassium bromide here. And uh, I'll stir it and I'll see how equilibrium changes. Now what should happen is, um, as equilibrium is supposed to be, if you add some type of reactant, it'll shift to the product side. So let's see what happens here. may have to take a bit to actually do it, so I'll put a couple of scoops in and stir it. And then we'll see what happens. You can already see it's getting a little bit lighter. So I'll make sure it all dissolves in here nicely. I can add a little bit more. Add our two scoops here and just gradually get it to change over. And again, I'm using the volumetric flask as its comparison. You have to do it slowly because if you add too much of more, it will dissolve and it will be here for a while changing it, or uh, stirring it rather. You can see that we are getting a greener color. leave it with that. It looks pretty good right there. So you can clearly see we have a, a green colored solution here versus the blue that's showing up over here. Now, what we want to do is, well, let's reverse things. So again, just to uh, summarize this, if you add KBR, the equilibrium will shift to the product side. That's what supposed to happen. It's sort of like a teeter-totter effect that you're trying to balance out things. So what we want to do now is we want to shift the equilibrium back this direction. Well, if we had some water, that's fine, but that's not going to do too much. But if we have something with a sulfate compound to it, um, like sodium sulfate or even potassium sulfate, it doesn't really matter. It's the sulfate ions that are important. So if we added some potassium or uh, sodium sulfate, well, the equilibrium should shift back this direction. So let's see what happens. I have uh, some sodium sulfate here in a beaker. So I'm going to put in a couple of scoops, and we'll see what happens. Now, again, it may not go back to the original color because there's, you know, mixtures of... Uh, several different ions here and that. So it's not going to be perfectly back to the original. Let me 
a little bit more. Two more little scoops. And again, just you have to do this in a gradual way. Have to make sure it all dissolves just like anything. I think that's about as far as we're going to actually uh, to get it to go over. But again, it's not as green. It's not going to be the original blue color. And I probably, if I really kept stirring away here and dissolved everything, it eventually would go back a little further. So again, this is the color we're, we're getting here. All right. So it did switch back, not necessarily completely back to blue, but that's okay. Again, it's not as green as it was before. Now, something else that can be done here, um, you know, when you add a, a basic solution, more or less like we have here, potassium sulfate, um, we can add an acid, and we could change the equilibrium here by adding, let's say, um, some hydrochloric acid, let's say six more, hydro, uh, six, six more hydrochloric acid. We're increasing the H plus concentration and the acidity. So what will happen is if we add some H plus, over here, well then the equilibrium will shift that direction, at least it should, because we kind of have a basic like solution now, so let's just see what happens. Um, I have 10 milliliters of uh, hydrochloric acid, so let's just see what happens. And as expected, it went back to a green color. I'm just going to add just a little tiny bit more. I'll add another five milliliters. And it's like that's about as far as it's going to go. But again, clearly we have a difference in the color. So we got the green color here, and we have the blue color that originally was. So that's all the shot lace principle, just again, either adding a reactant or a product or something that would change the direction of the equilibrium.